Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome if you are new. Today I want to show you a haul of all of my Harry Potter replicas from Noble Collection. So before we get started, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of my magical friends. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Alright, yes, I'm going to be showing you all of my replicas by Noble Collection. I wrote them all down so I won't forget any of them, but I do have about 15 replicas in my collection currently. I have so many on my wish list. I want everything by Noble Collection, but I want to show you all of them in one video. You've probably seen a few of these before, but I do have something new to add to the collection that's in this box that I want to open up with you. But let's go ahead and get into it. All right, let's start off with the new item. We're going to go ahead and open it up. It is on the smaller side. Let me get my handy dandy box cutter. All right, let's go ahead and open it. So I was able to get this one on Amazon. Some of the Noble Collection items are available there, and I feel like it's so much easier to purchase from Amazon since you get free shipping with Prime, and you have to spend, I think, at least $100 to get the free shipping on Noble Collection's website. And this item was under 100, so I was glad I could get free shipping. Let's get this one. All right, oh, so pretty. Oh. <laughs> so I wanna collect all of the Horcruxes. So the only one that I probably won't be able to get, unless I get lucky, is Harry's glasses to represent Harry because those have been discontinued for quite some time, but I should be able to get all the other ones. So starting off, I have the Hufflepuff cup now. So here it is up close. It has the badger and it has a great weight to it. I am very impressed with this. I wish I added it to my collection sooner, but I'm so happy to have it now. And they do not recommend you drinking from this. I think they even drill a small hole at the bottom of it so you cannot drink from it, but the bottom is like this felt material and there is the licensing information and I love it. It's metal, great quality. And if you're a Hufflepuff, you should definitely have this in your collection. It's so gorgeous. And I believe this retailed for $49 on Amazon and I will link everything down in my description box below. So if you are looking for any of these items, I will put them. So if they're available on Amazon, I'll put them. And then if not, Noble Collection. <laughs> All right, the next three items are also going to retail for $49, but I was able to find these next three all secondhand and I was able to save some money. So usually when I'm shopping secondhand for items, I look for deals that are gonna be spending like 50% off from retail. So I think I was able to snag this time turner. Here is a close up for $19 on Mercari. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that is what I got this one for. And it is in great condition. I was so happy with this find. And there's like a mirror in the back that has the Harry Potter logo on there. And then it has the necklace hanging in there. And you can take this out. And it has like the back of the necklace kind of hidden back there. So it makes it really pretty to display. But you can wear this. And here is the bottom and it just hangs on these little hooks and then if you're wanting to display you just pop it back in I don't know if you can see <laughs> right back in like so but I love this so it's like in a wooden box really gorgeous the next two are just like that so these ones I also found from Mercari but I got these just recently so I do have another Horcrux in my collection I do have the locket so this one and the next item I'm going to show you when they arrived they were not packaged properly so they came a little bit scratched up but I still got a pretty good deal for them I bought them as a bundle so I think I spent about with shipping $27.50 a piece and since these retail for around $50 I still think that's a good deal, but that is the Slytherin locket and it also comes out like so. And the locket itself is still in really good condition. It's just the box that it came in that was damaged. And also this locket does open up, which is really cool. So you could put a hidden message in there if you wanted to. And it closes back up like so, and you can wear this one as well. And I do know that there are two versions of this locket. So this is the Slytherin locket, like the official Horcrux one, because this one has the 
S on here, but they have the one that came from the cave and I believe the S is missing from that one and it comes with the actual note from Regulus Black that you can see from like the films and stuff. So that's really cool. I didn't realize they had two versions of this until recently because the cave locket is only available at the UK location and not the US location. So you would need like a UK buddy to get that one over to you. But I'm happy to have at least this one and I'm glad I got it for a good price. And the next one is also a necklace. This is the Deathly Hollows necklace that you would see Xenophilius Lovegood wearing in the Deathly Hollows. So, of course, because it's the Deathly Hollows. <laughs> but here's the box that it comes in. It's really nice. This one also came super scratched up. The necklace itself is in good condition, but the box is just a little damaged. And another little detail on this necklace. See it? This little stone on here which you would see in the movie version. So that is the Deathly Hollows necklace. Next I have the Slughorn Hourglass. I love this replica so much and it is like a true hourglass. The sand does move through here and it's super nice. So it's like metal and resin and glass. It's great quality, has great weight. And I would say it's very fragile. I would be very careful with this replica. So this one goes on my dark art shelf and I don't move it very often, but it's super detailed. I love this. I love how these snakes look translucent so it catches the light through it. It's a very gorgeous replica. It's definitely one of my top five for sure. All right, these next two are Dumbledore replicas. So I have his cup. It is Super gorgeous, I love this one. This one retails for $90 and it has this gorgeous little purple gem in the middle that is almost like translucent. I love the little stars. I love all the beautiful details throughout the cup. And you definitely can't drink out of this one. It does have a hole in the cup, so that's unfortunate. <laughs> but it is super gorgeous displayed on my shelves. My other Dumbledore replica is gonna be his Deluminator. And I was able to find this one secondhand for $25. And this one normally retails for around $50. And the really cool thing about this one is it does actually light up. Like so, you just slide that up and then to close it, you have to put the lid back down, but it's so cool. I love this one. These next two are from my Weasley shelf. The first one is going to be Fred and George's wand display and wand set. <laughs> so let me see. They have these W's on the top for Weasley. And then here are the wands. I'm trying to get it so it doesn't focus on me. And you can see this up close. And then here's the bottom. It has the W and W. And then here on the back side, it has the licensing information. And I was able to get this one on Amazon and I believe it retails for around $75 or $79. And my other Weasley item is going to be this Puking Pastel Bookend from Weasley's Wizard Weezes Shop. I love this one. I've had this one for quite some time. I was lucky enough to be able to snag this one on sale at Barnes and Noble for only $30. So that's why I've had her. I wish I picked up the Bubble Boy at the time as well. And I'm still kicking myself to this day for not getting that one because they're kind of like discontinued and then they're getting back on the site and now they have increased costs. So you can purchase both of these again, but they are $90 on Noble Collections website. So I'm still hoping maybe I'll be able to find a good deal on it or I will just have to cave and get it for $90. But for now, I'm happy with the puking pastel girl. I love having her in my collection. Next, I have my Sorcerer's Stone. So let me take this glass dome lid off so it doesn't catch a bunch of reflection and you can see it up close. So I was able to find this one at Universal. So Universal does carry a lot of Noble Collection items, but the prices will vary. Sometimes they're a lot more than what you can get them on the official Noble Collection website. So just be careful because you could save a lot of money by just shopping online versus getting them inside the parks. 
but this one was on back order at Noble Collection and at Universal it was in stock, but it was $5 more than the website, but I didn't mind spending that extra $5 just to get it when I was there and not having to wait. So you just kind of have to see what's better for you. But sometimes the prices could be a lot more than just $5. So just always check and know what the prices are. But love this one. So many details. You can take the stone out of the stand. It's gorgeous, love it. All right, the next one is one that I found on Mercari. And if you're not familiar with Mercari, as I'm saying this, it's kind of like an eBay, but I believe it's only available to the US. So it's just like a secondhand shop and it's also very similar to Facebook Marketplace. So whenever I'm saying that, if you're not familiar, that's just what it is. But this one I found on there. So it is a quill and it has this cute Hogwarts crest stand that I love so much. But it was damaged and I did see that it was going to come damaged. They showed the pictures, but it was heavily discounted. So just right here, it's like it broke somehow. Maybe it was like super glued back and then it's just a feather and it did come with some ink as well. So I think you can use it or it's just for prop purpose. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not going to use it to write with. I'm just using it to display. And this one retails for $40. And I got it for a lot less than that, but I don't remember exactly how much. <laughs> Next are all Triwizard themed. So first up, I have my Golden Egg replica. I am obsessed with this one. It's so beautiful. I like the size a lot and it has great weight to it. And it does come with this little stand, so it makes it easy to display. Otherwise, the bottom is round and you probably never get it to stand up. But that is really nice. And this one was purchased from the Noble Collection website by my husband because he gave it to me as a gift for Christmas last year. And I just love this one and I believe it retails for around $79. And if I'm right or wrong throughout the whole video, I am definitely gonna be putting prices on the screen. <laughs> Next is my Firebolt mini replica. So it is so cute. I would love the like life-size versions of these. They have them in all three of the brooms. So the Nimbus 2000, the Nimbus 2001, and then the Firebolt, of course. So they have them in mini and like the life-size as well. So that's really cool. I just don't have the room to display it, but maybe one day if I ever find a great deal on it, I would make it work, but I'm not gonna go and spend full price and not know where to put it. <laughs> so the mini ones will do for now, and I just have the Firebolt anyways, and it does come with like a wooden plaque that you can put it underneath as well. It just doesn't fit where I'm displaying it, so I only display the broom. And here are some more of those up close details. Super gorgeous. And the next one is my Triwizard Cup. So this one also has really great weight to it. It's very good quality, a lot of metal detailing. I'm sure there's some resin, or this is wood maybe. I don't know, no, I don't know, maybe it's all metal. But it's really nice, and here is the licensing information on the bottom, it's felt. You're not supposed to drink from this one either. <laughs> Super gorgeous. Here's some more of those up close details. And this one was from the Noble Collection UK because at Noble Collection US, they are discontinued, but you can still find it there. They do restock at the UK site. So I'm not sure if they'll discontinue from there or not, but as of right now, they are available. So that is where I got this one. And this one also comes with a stand and here it has licensing information on that. So it just kind of goes like so on my shelf. All right, the rest of the items that I want to show you are actually like hung up or just like too difficult for me to like pick up and move and show you over here. So I will show you where they are at in the room and some details about them. So let me go ahead and show you those. First, I have this Gryffindor Crest by Noble Collection. I was able to find mine on Mercari. It does say Gryffindor here at the bottom. The details are amazing. I love this piece so much. And this normally retails for $49 and I was able to snag it on Mercari for 19. I love this one. And then down here, I have my Gryffindor sword. I'm obsessed with this. I'm so happy I was able to add this to the collection. And it does say Godric Gryffindor down the sword. 
You can't take it out of this display when this is here, but you can remove this from the back. It's just two screws, and then you could take the sword out if you wanted to like take pictures with it or something, but it's not sharp. And I love it. It's just so detailed. And this one retails for $200, and I actually had a Visa gift card that I won a contest at work for, and I was able to purchase this. But with the Visa gift card, it was actually really hard to purchase this because there was two $100 ones and you can't split your payment on Noble Collections website. So I had to buy mine at Universal, but you can buy it online at Universal. So I didn't have to actually go there and I had to call them and pay for it over the phone. <laughs> so it was a lot of work to get this one, but it was completely worth it. I love her. And if you didn't see the video where I was hanging this up, it also comes with a chain and a little like griffin to hang it up on. But since I have this crest, I just didn't have the room and I didn't think it looked right. So I still have it. I just, I'm not using it. Now down here is my last Noble Collection item that I want to show you. And this is my Hogwarts Express replica. It is gorgeous. It's made of metal and I think it was a die, die cast metal. I believe and it does move it's super cool it comes with this little track slash stand and it's gorgeous I really love all the details this is actually another Mercari find I found this for $50 free shipping on Mercari and this retails for $100 on Noble Collection so I thought that was a great steal and I was so happy to add this to the collection and now it goes with some of my other Hogwarts Express <laughs> replicas and I have a few more sprinkled throughout the room but I'm really happy to add this one in. And then here is the front. And it does come apart right here so you can separate the two cars so you have to add them together and I think that's all the like little details on here but it's just super super cool love this piece and i do have a couple more noble collection items so i have a like wand display it's not necessarily a replica but it is from noble collection and then i also have a bunch of their wands so if you want to see all the wands that i have i'll link that video down in my description box and like put it up on one of the sides whichever one it is i can't remember <laughs> Um, if you want to see all the ones that I have, those are by Noble Collection as well. But this is going to wrap up today's video. Definitely let me know down in the comments below if you have any of the items from Noble Collection or if you have a favorite item or one on your wish list. Let's discuss it down in the comments below. But as always, if you like today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your bell notification so you're notified during my next video upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye!